There's reasons why people buy store-bought pie crust. <laughs> this is the, the base of my Picasso <laughs> paste together pie crust. Let's hope the top comes out better. Hi guys, welcome to the kitchen. So if you took the hook, <laughs> From our intro to Sewing Back that we released a couple days ago, um, I mentioned a summer challenge. And um, today I want to kind of talk to you about the summer challenge. I also have something to show you that I got. I'm so excited um, to share it with you. And I want to try to use it <laughs> to see what I think. Um, but first I want to just get to it on the summer challenge. So if you have been on our platform, um, and you, you know, last October was the first, um, pantry challenge I ever did. I chronicled how it went and essentially the rules that I had in place for that pantry challenge was to try to eat out of, um, my pantry, my freezer, um, I, I, we still had a few things coming out of the garden uh, with fall harvest coming in. Uh, so I was trying to use all that kind of stuff, also still preserving things up. Um, but I still allowed myself uh, a smaller budget for groceries. And I took the excess of money I would have had for um, the hopes of being able to buy a meat share to put in the freezer. I think a great time to do a pantry challenge is to do it during the summer um, because usually things are a little bit more laid back. It's not as much hustle and bustles, particularly if you have children, your children are home. Um, and which also means typically you probably need some extra money to do things whether it's just feeding them um or maybe you want to have a special day at the zoo or whatever the you know whatever your thing is maybe you want to plan for a camping trip or maybe you want to claim you know maybe you're hoping you can take your family get away for a, a long weekend you know maybe to the beach if you're close enough maybe to the mountains or a lake whatever and so there's just there's always room to try to scrimp and save so that you can have those opportunities to make those memories. So I really think that the summer is a great time to do a pantry challenge, but I kind of wanted to do one that was different that hopefully I wouldn't get bored with and you guys wouldn't get bored with. And I really wanted one I, that a lot of people could feel like that's obtainable. I can do that. A lot of people are like, I can't think about a monthly menu. It's just too much. And um, and really depending on the season of life you're in, that's, that's like for real, real. And particularly if you are rearing your children and, or maybe you're caring for um, a parent and your day-to-day -day is kind of crazy, maybe you're stuck in the in-between where you're, where you're raising kids and you're caring for a loved one. And, um, and it just makes it really kind of challenging and you're just like, that's not real, that's not helpful to me, it's not doable. So, <laughs> I came up with what I think is going to be a fun summer challenge. It will stretch us. I say us because I really hope that you're going to go along with it. Um, and hopefully it will help us. Um, I know what a pantry challenge has done for me as far as becoming a better steward of things I have. Stretching, really stretching. Do I really have to go to the store or can I just make do with what I have here? Can I swap this for that? And just getting a little creative to make my dollars stretch. And I want you guys to have that same benefit. So I would love for you to come along and take the summer pantry challenge. It's three months. June, July, and August. No, not for the whole month. I'm asking you to take two weeks out of each month, 
if you can and that you will make a plan you will stick to it and you will save money in those two weeks so that can look different for people um, because some people maybe they have an extra freezer and so they can have more things stocked up some people don't have that some people have gardens so it becomes a lot easier because there's a lot of abundance that starts coming out of your garden so this can look very differently depending on where you're at in life and what you have per se in life but if you budget if you make a plan and you stick with it you will save money period it, it, it just works and the second part of that is when you save that money you take that money out and you put it aside where it can't be touched until it's used for its purposes okay and and maybe you're you're just trying to be able to buy groceries and keep your family well fed and so it's not necessarily where you're going to have a big kitty at the end of the month you'll just be able to go I fed everybody you know we got through um, it's a skill and so what I did <laughs> is I made the first week I, I actually and I will post this in the description it's a PDF and I created a menu for the first week and it goes through breakfast lunch dinner and a snack um, these are things that I'm doing I do include there's a recipe box and I include a new recipe um, that I have come up with that I'm using my canned um, homemade canned chicken I got the chicken on a manager special from Costco and I canned it in my carry canner I did a video on that and boy was this a great recipe for using canned chicken and it was a quick dinner and so I, I've included that recipe and um, that's really the only recipe on here because I have a video that kind of covers, that shows other videos how I do turkey tacos. Um, I have a video that shows my Miss the Mississippi marinade I did with the chicken. That was just a video I posted. And so I have that in my food rotation for this week. Um, smash burgers, just a hamburger on a griddle and you smash it down. So I, I didn't necessarily put, um, these with all recipes I've left them kind of generic I have a night says pasta okay so that's that's pretty easy however you want to do pasta so I have it where I have the first week's menu I have the little recipe card here that I created for one of the new menu items because when I do um, a pantry challenge I have my good old standbys, okay, that we're just, we typically eat each week. And then in the pantry challenge, I always try to do one new recipe. And then um, I also try to do a newer recipe that I'm trying to put into the rotation. And so I have that, my new recipe that's on this menu, and I don't leave, um, the recipe on here because I know you can you can find one because I got a new cookbook um, I got um, celebrating Appalachia's uh, tippers cookbook it came yesterday and she has an oven fried chicken recipe and I want to try her recipe so it's on here for a Sunday supper that I'm going to make and um, so I didn't give that recipe I know you can find you may already have an oven fried um, chicken and um or you can order her cookbook <laughs> if that's something that interests you or if you don't want to use the things that i have planned at all i also will have a pdf that has a blank menu that you can plan your own thing that that works with your family I still include the recipe box with that recipe if you want to try it and you may be like well I don't can chicken I don't have a canner you can use canned chicken you can use rotisserie chicken um, if you go to Costco and get a five dollar chicken rotisserie chicken it would it'll you can use it it'll work um, I'm just telling you how I'm using things that I have preserved but you can be flexible with all those and I also give you a grocery list that you can make and um <clears throat> so that you can get organized to make a plan 
Um, but on the one that I did, so it has this, then it has the recipe, and then it has my grocery list because I went through my pantry to see, okay, what do I have to purchase for this week's menu that I created? And I kind of went through, and typically what you'll see on my list are dairy products. I live in the suburbs. I do not have a dairy cow. I do not have milk goats. I don't have any of that. I have a garden. I have backyard chickens. I have two dogs and a family and a lot of grass to cut. <laughs> a lot of raised beds to tend to okay so that that's what I have um, so you'll always see that I have a lot of uh, dairy products that I need to get um, bananas uh, I always love to have bananas um, then fruit and vegetables that I don't um, have necessarily coming out of my garden so like on this one I put maybe broccoli i do have broccoli in my garden right now whether or not it'll be ready or if it'll still be there when i when i do this week um i don't know so i have a question mark i also have a question mark about maybe peppers cucumbers i may have all that already coming out of my garden if i do then i can take it off my list but i went ahead and put it on there because these are things that we typically eat and i use in my meals um I did put brown rice because I'm lower on brown rice and I'm not doing an Azure haul for June because it's going to conflict with between VBS. Um, my youngest is in starts basketball camp this coming week and that's a big commitment for the month of June for us. And so I just could not commit to knowing I could be at the drop. So I'm just not going for June. So, and also some potatoes. It'll still be a while before my potatoes come out of the garden. So those were kind of some of the things that were on my list. Everything else, I'm real well stocked. My freezers are well stocked. You've seen my hauls lately with um, my chicken deals and how I filled my freezer with my um, pork and beef and so I have all those kinds of things I get eggs every day for my chickens and um, and then I have plenty of uh, flour I have a mill grain I have wheat berries I have things I have staples um, that I can pull together things so you may need some staples to pull together things for your list and um, so you may want to add to what I have on my list. You will probably want to add, or you may take away things, depending on what you have. But I still gave it. Um, I set my budget for the two the uh, week for $100 um, because I still have to buy dairy. I still have to buy these items. So I've set a budget of I can only spend $100. I have to stick to that budget. And what I would normally have, any extra, I pull that money out and I put it aside because that's going to go towards whatever my goal is for the challenge, okay? And the last page, like I show you, I have a video on sourdough pancakes and you may be like, I don't do sourdough, don't care about sourdough. Well, guess what? You don't have to have sourdough to make sourdough pancakes. You can use kefir from the store that you buy to get that good gut health. I have a video on that from last fall. Um, and so I put it here and gave you some encouraging words. So this is all in the PDF. And like I said, there's two of them. And so the challenge, is that you would take two weeks in the month of June, whatever two weeks you want. If you want those two weeks back to back and you just want to do the 14 days all at one time and whatever part of the month works for you. Or if you want to do one week, have a week off, do a week. However you want to make it, you make it your own. You do need to set a budget. You need to set a budget and you need to stick to your budget. That means if you forget something, you're going to have to learn to make do with something at the house. Um, so let's say you forgot lettuce and you're doing a taco night. Well, guess what? We just don't have lettuce on our tacos. But hey, maybe you had some cabbage or something else in your fridge and you make that work. Or maybe you just don't have lettuce. It's stuff like that. That's what you're going to do in your pantry challenge. The other thing is, is to make a menu. 
and like I said I made you the first week like a, a week two I don't have that I'll work on that next week and I will share that with you if you're interested in it I will put links to both of these PDFs if you don't want to use what I came up with you can totally do your own and um, and I hope that you'll you'll give it a try and I hope that you will save money um, and that you will learn a great skill about how to budget your grocery budget because honestly your rent your mortgage whatever that doesn't change it's what it is typically your utilities they don't change a lot they may go up in the summer and the winter and you may have a couple of months where they taper off a little bit a lot of people do budget billing on those things so to me those are pretty stationary as to what they're going to be each month the one place that most people can find to get extra income to squeeze every dime out is in their food budget and right now that's a really hard thing to do because the price of things so I want you looking for those manager specials I want you to go online wherever you shop you can always see your weekly um, shopping guide for whatever store you like to frequent and go in there and look and you may say okay well I can do this 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 challenge is not the challenge where you decide Oh, we're gonna have lobster I'm gonna learn how to cook lobster <laughs> for dinner now if that's what you want to do and you have lots of money great but for most people that's just not realistic um, this is the type of thing like I said that you would have your old standbys that your family likes to eat the other would be to try at least one recipe new each week you may not like the recipe I picked you may find something else that you like and you want to try um, and then um, trying trying to put something new in the rotation so that you and your family they don't get bored necessarily and that's kind of different depending on where your family is my kids are older now when my kids were younger that was much harder to do and um, because they're pickier when they're younger and so I had to try to slide things in here and there but um, as your kids get a little bit older and a little more willing to give other things a try and not be devastated if you switched up a turkey taco night or something like that. Um, maybe you want to do fajitas or something else, something different that maybe is a little different um, than what the norm is. That's a great way to do that. So I will link all of this down in the description. <laughs> there, It's free and um, I hope that you'll be blessed by it I do want to say if you are someone who likes to create things on the computer and you just want to create your own or you want to start building your own I made this in canva.com and on the free side of it you can go you can do all kinds of stuff in there you can make birthday invitations you can do a lot of stuff for social media um, but if you want to create documents they have a they have a tab where you can go on the free side there's also a pay side so if it has like I think it's like a crown or something like that that means there is a there's um, a fee associated with it so if you're just wanting to pay for it you can I did all mine on the free aspects of it and you can go in and you can do your own thing and play around with it and start building um a menu i think it would be really cool um to start having like if i a, a menu that i built and just keep adding to it and eventually it'd be cool if i had like a 52 week menu um <laughs> i think that would be really kind of neat um but it's totally free you do have to put it on your computer um there's like a download or whatever but i totally use the free I have found a plethora with just the free stuff so um, you don't have to spend any money and if that's something that you like to do then do it if you're somebody and you're like you gotta be kidding me I don't have time to do that um, then use either what I've already done or use the blank one that you can you can just write down what works for you look at your sales ads and pick pick your two weeks and set a goal and like I said take that cash out 
put it aside because if you don't it'll just disappear and the whole point of doing this is to save money for a goal or to save money so you can feed your family uh, and you can pay your bills wherever you are on the spectrum so I'm excited. I hope you're excited. I am going to start my challenge on June 12th and I will do it for two weeks straight and then I'm going to turn around and do it again in July. I think it's July 3rd. Pretty sure I'm going to do it July 3rd until I don't know if that's the 17th somewhere in there I'm going to do the two weeks and then in August I'm thinking I'm going to do it towards the end of the month and um, and so my plan is I'll have I'll continue to make the menu put it out probably the week before um, in a in a video recap I will video our dinners like I typically do in a challenge to help give you ideas or see how I do things Quick tip <laughs> when you are menu planning you can totally go online you can google away and find recipes all the things um, if you love to go to your local library they all have sections where they have culinary cookbooks and things like that take advantage of those things um, for me i love old church cookbooks and things like that but one of my favorites is the old betty crocker cookbook um, this is over 50 years old <laughs> And um, it was given to my mom when she got married to my dad from my Mimi. And, um, and it was passed down to me. It is well worn and I've taped this part here um, and well loved. And it's, some of it's very outdated, but I guess it's nostalgic. So I have that. This was the new cookbook I talked about that I got. This is from Tepper. Um, and it's um, Jim Cassida and uh, Tipper Presley and it's celebrating Southern Appalachian food and it came yesterday in the mail and so that's where I picked one of the new recipes from and um, I really enjoy her channel it's celebrating Appalachia her girls also she has twin daughters and they have a channel and if you like bluegrassy kind of music folky music you should check out their channel um, but anyway, I got my, my cookbook and I want to give that a try. Um, so having resources like that, if you go to a website and you find a recipe you want, print it out <laughs> or save it to your computer because things disappear sometimes or you can't find them. And then Boxing is a new Ninja. This is the professional Ninja food processor. Um, it has the ability to work with dough, chop, um, to be a, a shredder, all the things. And today we're going to test it out with some dough and some chopping of onions. When making pie crust, one of the best things you can do is to go ahead and dice up your cold butter and then you can put it in the freezer because you want cold butter when making pie crust. It is um, food prep 101 and so it tells you about how to prepare your vegetables and what to use. It tells you how to um, prep meat if you want to put meat in there. Um, and how you know how you would want to chop it into the different size if you're going from a large chop to twice chop which is a smaller chop to minced it goes through that and then you turn the page and it tells you all about using it as dough making and so it tells you how to do pizza pretzel bread dough in there honestly i didn't even think about you doing the bread dough um, cookie dough biscuits pies and scones and then of course cakes brownies and pancake batter so there's honestly there's several things in there I wouldn't have thought of to use a food processor for but I think because it has that dough um, it's this this is the dough um, I guess it's paddles I don't know what the right term would be for those but um, it gives you a lot of options so this is extremely helpful for people who don't like to read the book it's like simple to the point tells you what to do so here I'm getting ready to make um, the pie crust and I'm just kind of assembling the new um, mixer with using the dough feature and of course I'm figuring out right here 
I don't have a plug, so I have to move to the other uh, counter so that we can mix up our dough. So here I am using two and a half cups of einkorn flour because I'm doubling my recipe. Um, I am using, um, a, I used a fourth of a teaspoon of salt because I use salted butter. But to be very honest, after having the pie, um, you could have went with the half of a teaspoon, which is what they're, what is called. Um, then I'm using my cup of diced butter that had been in the freezer. And the last thing is I am going to use half of a cup of ice water, but I'm going to put it in and pulse it by, um, doing it by tablespoons. And um, I did this until I got about halfway and then I decided I didn't want to over mix it because that can make your pie crust tough and I'm using einkorn and it can be a little different. So I decided to move to the counter and put it, the dough onto parchment where I could try to get it mixed up. The parchment wasn't working so I went to a bowl. <laughs> And I'm trying to abide by all the rules where you really don't want to handle the crust too much. Um, but you have to have it to the right consistency so that you can even get it into the disc so it can chill. So then I started, once I felt like I had it somewhat to that, I put it back on parchment, split it in half, and then I tried to fold up the parchment into... A disc of some sort and I didn't really like how that was and I don't know why I did it this way when I should have just got out my um, press and seal wrap and that's what I end up doing <laughs> and that worked so much better and um, I could kind of shape it a little bit better without it sticking to me to the counter what I did was I put it back in the bowl um, from the parchment paper, got it kind of in a ball. It actually came together quicker. And I was kind of flattening that out in the saran wrap like so, so it looks like a little pie disc. That worked out so much better. I made that a lot harder on myself than I needed to. And into the refrigerator, it's gonna go to rest. Okay, so now using the Ninja instructions on how to dice, um, you are to quarter your onions and to put them in by quarters after you peel them. So I have done that. I had four good sized Vidalias that I put in here. I really kind of overfilled it. Um, but you push, you turn the button on, you hit the chop function and it pulses like three times. I had to learn that. I did that twice and then I didn't want to do it a third time because if I would have done it a third time, it would have turned into a minced onion. And so I took the few pieces that didn't really get the chop because I, I overfilled it. This is a nine cup Ninja, uh, professional, um, food processor so I don't know if I've said that before and so what I end up doing is I once I get some of the onions out I put those in I do the pulse one time get those little bit left chopped add them to the bag and I ended up I think it ended up being a little over six cups of diced onions that I can use for quick dinners and recipes This was wonderful. I love this tool. Thank you for those of you um, who recommended this Ninja. I can't believe I waited <laughs> so long. I mean, I'm glad because I got a really good deal, but look, look at that. I mean, six cups plus of onions and those a couple, I think I was probably overfilled it a smidgen. Um, I just stuck those back in there and did the little chop. It went boop 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 and then they were chopped just like these and then I've got my bag of skins for when I make um, my bone broth and I'm so thrilled about that I'm gonna stick it up in my fridge and I can pull out what I need because typically uh, for chopped onions and stuff like that that is going to be something when I'm like sauteing and I can literally just pull out some break a piece off or a couple pieces off, put it in my pan with my hot oil and it'll break down. So, yay, I, that was so good. And it gave me so many ideas for 
um, as garlic and stuff comes out of the gar uh, the garden, I can mince my own garlic and do some things with that. So yes, I am super excited about this. Um, I will put a picture um, for how the apple pie looks when it turns out. Pray it goes well. Um, it's still chilling in the refrigerator. I will probably cook that this evening after we have dinner so that it'll be ready to go to church in the morning because if I do it now somebody will come mess with it so if I wait till later at the end of the day and I don't have to do anything other than roll it out put it in my pie pan and open up my jar of my apple pie filling put it in and I can um, I will try to link that video in the description and as well as in the cards um, where I made that that stuff is yummy <laughs> thinking about all those little specials things that you might see you might get a good deal on and think outside of the box of what can you do with that and how can you use that to benefit your your grocery budget remember <laughs> we're gonna have our summer pantry challenge um, pound summer pantry challenge okay and I hope that you will all be a part of it um, don't forget in the description you can pick up the first week's menu and or you can pick up the blank one um, if you prefer to make your own um, next week is VBS for me so I will do my best to have the next menu up on Friday but it may be Saturday depending on how crazy the week is um, for me <laughs> And um, with that, if you found value in this, if you're excited about the summer challenge, um, uh, I would love it if you would give us a thumbs up. Um, if you are enjoying our content, we would appreciate if you would subscribe to our channel or if you know someone who these are all their kind of things. This is their jam. You think that they would like the channel. Please share our channel. It helps us grow our platform. And with that, I thank you for watching. I know this is probably a little long and I will do my best in editing to make it shorter. And with that, I'll see you next time. Bye. I wanted to cry at this pie crust, but let me tell you something. It turned out great. It was so tasty, and there was none that came back home. <laughs> it was all gone.